The next study that, that we want to talk about is cancer. So this study, which was done in 2015, published by the company that makes 5-fluorosil, which is the chemotherapy drug of choice for colon cancer. Imagine a chemotherapy drug company wanting to do a study to see what would happen if they introduced hydrogen into that chemotherapy drug. What would happen if 5-fluorosil, which is the chemotherapy drug of choice, were used in concert with hydrogen? What would happen? And what they learned is that 100% cancer cell death when they combine the two. Nowhere near that with the chemotherapy drug. So I'll read the last part of that study as well to you, which says high content, well, I'll read you the second one. Hydrogen water administration improved the survival of mice with colon 26 induced cancer. Furthermore, hydrogen water enhanced cell apoptosis in cancer cells. Now, before I read the other part, I'm gonna to explain to you what apoptosis is. The way our body is designed, our cells are constantly reproducing, right? So cells are reproducing, reproducing. On an annual basis, every one of our cells in our body is changed out. So it's a new you every year. Then, and, and depending on your own metabolic rates, it could be sooner than a year, but at least within a year cycle, every cell in your body has been changed. So on an annual basis, it's a new you every single year. Interesting, right? We don't have the same cells as when we were babies. We don't have the same cells as we'll have in a year from now. We can re reproduce our cells. Now, there is a beautiful system in place that programs cells to self-destruct if they are reproducing incorrectly. This is our body's ability to stop deformed cells. So if cells are mis reproducing or mi reproducing incorrectly, they are destroyed. Something happens when cancer cells come in and they overwrite the mitochondria and the DNA of the cell is changed to tell that cell don't stop reproducing and don't destroy yourself. Keep producing so that we have cancer flourishing, right? This is what happens. And it's called apoptosis. That's the process on which cells are designed to self-destruct if they're reproducing. Somehow, cancer overwrites the cell function and says, no, no, don't destroy yourself. So the beauty, one of the first nuggets or, or pearls of wisdom in this study is that when hydrogen gets into the picture, somehow it restores apoptosis. So as it says, hydrogen water enhanced cell apoptosis in cancer cells. That is significant because hydrogen told those cancer cells and reprogrammed those cancer cells, destroy yourself. That is why we got 100% cancer cell death. Not because of a chemical, because the cells destroyed themselves, which is what they're supposed to do in the first place. Isn't that interesting? Imagine if people had apoptosis, <laughs> if people had apoptosis, and we were sitting in a crowd, and all of a sudden, you know, somebody just blew up. We'd be like, whoa, I wonder what they were thinking. I don't know. But that doesn't happen to us, thank goodness. But it does to cells. So this is one of the most critical aspects of cellular function is the fact that they can self-destruct. And the fact that hydrogen reprogrammed a cancer cell to, to self-destruct was huge. So the second thing I want to read you out of the study was high content hydrogen water exhibited stronger antioxidative and anti-cancer activity than did natural hydrogen water. So we've introduced another concept of natural hydrogen water. I'll talk about that in a second. In conclusion, high content hydrogen water can inhibit colon cancer, particularly in combination with 5-fluorosa, which is the drug that paid for the study.